Cut to sass. I don't want to do the intro. <laughs> Thanks. What's uh, up, everybody? Hey, guys. It's the Yak with Nick and Sass. We're real happy you're here. Uh, we hope to uh, guide you through your drive or maybe through your through your late lunch at work. Uh, we're, we're honored to have uh, you loyal listeners, especially on Spotify Wrapped Day. Spotify Wrapped Day. It's a big day. It's a, it's a real clutter on the timeline. Oh, yeah. Uh, you get yours, or are you an Apple Music boy? I'm a Spotify guy. Spotify I got mine. Guy? You post it? No. Oh. No, I'm embarrassed of some of the bands. It shouldn't have been. Ain't you no gotta way. post it. Dude, Owen sent us his. Yeah. He's the might be the most depressed man alive. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because <laughs> like I don't, it was new this year. They would just give you a like a random jumble of three words. Yeah. I got pumpkin spice angst as mine. I don't even know what mine were. But, but yeah. Owen's I mean, he needs his was like he's gotta give up his shoelaces or something. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? I forget. Um, Owen got heartache, escapism, sorrow. <laughs> that's bad. Yeah, that's not good. That is really I bad. Um, I was on the same train from Boston uh, as Kyle, but we were on different train cars, and he has a bad habit of uh, not getting off. Not getting off. He didn't get off in, on our Boston stop. My, I got I got vulnerable cottage core amped. Yeah, that makes sense for you. What You're, is cottage core? Cottage core is like big cozy core kind of guy. Oh, yeah, very interesting. There's a lot of cores nowadays. There are, stemming from what was the first core? Hard. I'd assume so. Yeah, soft. Soft. Well, that's p- porn. <laughs> music wise, is there is there, so, is there soft core music? Oh yeah, that's probably cottage core. It must be metal core, and then of course crab core. Of attack course. attack um all kinds of cores but yeah i don't know maybe i should call kyle um he's probably heading on down to dc right now yeah he probably is he would wake up in he, that would be some shit he'd pull um i uh i was boston it was really nice yeah, it was i fun. really enjoyed it. it was a whirlwind of a trip uh but the guys that were there and girl uh for the dozen live show it was like right after a uh, Kirk Minahan live show, so a lot of Minna fans, and they were they were rowdy. Yeah, yeah, they were vocal, they were rowdy, but it was a it was a good time. Uh, Jeff D. Lowe just has it down to a science. Yeah. So was it? What did Kirk do? You guys were House of Blues, right? We were at House of Blues. So Kirk did a show, and then Kirk did a right show after. down the street at Cheeky Monkey. Oh, oh, I know Cheeky Monkey. Now there was a sign on the door at Cheeky Monkey that uh, Chris Clemmer is not allowed on the premises. Oh wow. Yeah, and was I don't Clemmer know if that there? was. No, no. Well, he wasn't in that bar. There was the sign up. That's for sure. He definitely wasn't a cheeky monkey. Yeah. But he... uh, He's a little bit of a cheeky monkey himself. Clemmer? Yeah. I don't think he has much cheek to no. him. No. Skinny monkey. He's a skinny monkey. Yeah. And that, well, we, we were talking about hiding. I always want hide and seek. Why? But it was a loss. Because I was just in a like a Tupperware container for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a guy that'll go in a Tupperware, yeah. like, yeah, the costume bin. Just stuffed in a, a box. For an hour, I hated hide and come seek. out and be like, I loved it, but I never. I was always really bad. I was more anxious being the seeker because I thought they would scare me. I thought I, I always thought everyone would just like leave. Nothing makes you feel more skillful than being a dad who plays hide and seek with his young kids because young kids fucking suck at hide and seek. And you but, can ne- yeah, but nine year olds are incredible. Yeah, they get to a level where six year olds suck, but six year olds stink. You're nine, you're good. Yeah, I would say that. But you're nine. I would. I'm pretty sure me and my nine year old don't play hide and seek anymore. But it, it's a, it's a dad cheat code. An adult hide and seek league would be awesome. You should just come home tonight and be like, let's play hide and seek. Yeah, See I bet the you they'd be down. Let's do that. Nine year olds still want to play. Their dads just don't ask. Yeah, maybe it's a you problem, Brandon. All right. Well, I do have I, I do have four. So I used to play hide and seek in my high school library with a few people. Very what? very fun. You if you're playing a library, how many hiding spots are there? There's just different a aisles. Ton. Yeah, yeah, and tables and stuff like that, and different like nooks and crannies. But it's uh. Can it's, I ask you it, a question? Sure. Where were you before you started playing the hide and seek? Were you like uh, in front of the school in the parking lot, and say, "Let's go to the library and play hide and seek," or were you just no? Ha- you would like if you had uh, we had like off periods. I don't know why the fuck they gave us off periods, but like if you had an off period, like generally you go to the cafeteria, or the library. But if you already ate breakfast or stuff like that, you just go to the library and just kind of sit and I just call that study hall for us and maybe just go to the gym and just sit. Sure, yeah. and like do work or whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, get bored of shit doing that. So um, I liked playing. Hide and seek because it was more like tag because like you find people and you gotta like actually get them and you can't run and people are enforcing the rules and you can't be super how, loud so very fun. How old were you? Eighteen. Wow. 
It's sick. <laughs> Did you guys ever have the high school wide game Assassins? Yes. yes. Yeah. It got like wow. outlawed by the police. Yeah, yeah someone got and actually a someone like ended up like suing someone else because they shot someone. Was you guys use like water guns? Yeah, yeah. we use water guns. Water guns. And, and it, like, oh, what a game! Yeah. Yeah, like they like broke time. into their house and the person got like hurt. There was somebody that was like hiding in the house's closet to get their kill and yeah yeah it's it's dangerous you don't know what it is brandon no i never we did not have that everybody you had you and a partner were assigned people that you had to kill with water guns around the whole city Mm -hmm. yeah it was like multiple schools sometimes multiple classes like hundreds of kids oh we just did seniors i think oh we did like every high school in the area oh really yeah and we were getting up at like five and like going to the like going into their bushes yeah sounds very dangerous and stupid yeah, but like in a small town, well, you're in a small town. Like it's it's you know everybody. There's no crime. We don't lock our doors. No, no, no. never, never. Walk in and out. Yeah. Brandon, you live in New Jersey. I do. How far away are you from New Brunswick? Oh, oh like an hour. Oh, really? I live in North Jersey. I live um, in the northeast corner of Jersey. I was born there. Oh yeah, really? I always forget that. What? Oh yeah, TJ. Oh yeah, TJ. Yeah, I was born there. Um, what was the hospital? Sacred. Robert Johnson. No, keep going, keep going. The other one. It's, yeah. That. <laughs> yep. Yep. It. That's yeah. it. That's it. <laughs> it's amazing how it clicks when you hear the name. <laughs> TJ, is there fun stuff to do there, or should I like should I stay over, or should I come home, or College what? Town, right? Uh, you're so you're in like the downtown part, Stress Factory. There's yeah. a lot of nice restaurants and bars and stuff down there. I'm probably gonna. Or after. Yeah, I think I'm going to go, well, I have one show tomorrow, so I think I'm going to come back for the yak. You should go to a college party. Yeah, you should. No. He can't. He's not a frat. Why? He could. Die. I'm not fratted out, bro. You have to be invited and listed. There is no this such is thing little as. This is Little Sasquatch. No. Couldn't get into a party? Not unless. <laughs> That'd be funny if you couldn't. You. Yeah. <laughs> they, you, you could bring 50 <laughs> girls with you. They're not going to let you in if you're not on a list. We can get a oh, into one of these college parties. I would parties. let them in. I would bring no girls. What, what would happen if you, you take all of them you get, to the party? Do you get punished if you let yeah. a bunch of girls and sass in? They just, it you wouldn't get, happen. You just would be turned away unless you're on a physical list. But is there like, is that a rule? Is there or authoritative is figures there? So yeah, they have like door people for the for like, But there's kids, right? Uh, it's it's just a pledge. Yeah. Sassy's getting in. So if a pledge awesome is like if it was Sass, like, hey, Sass. If you're a Rutgers frat person listening, put Sass on the list. No, I don't want to go at all. Yeah, put him on the list, actually. That's I need you to go list. just to get in so you can prove that it's done. No, but that I don't like. that. Like That's like actually not something See, I would enjoy. you frat dudes wouldn't let like 50 parties. girls and Sass into your party. You 50, couldn't, 50, couldn't 50 do it? 10s, too, because you know I'm only rolling with 10s. Right, but the chances are if they land one of those girls, it used to be Sass's, and there's no following up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. God damn it. You render the pussy useless. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Sass bangs all the tens he hangs out with, all fi- all 50 of them. Oh, yeah. Checks them out. Yeah. That's just that's just fucking ritual. <laughs> <laughs> it's like brushing your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something I haven't been able to do today. I uh left my bag in KB's room. Oh shit! Really? Y'all, come, y'all came straight here. Came straight here. Yeah, I need to go yeah. do that. I uh, I wasn't able. To, we got there at. Uh, what time did we get there yesterday? Noon thirty. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't able to check into my room until eleven thirty p.m. God damn, that's the worst. Yeah. yeah. At least you and like at and least Kyle you walked in. He got his room instantly. I, yeah. yeah. I just they could tell that I wanted it. I wasn't asking. For like, can you do this for me? I was like, yeah, I need, I need needed this. It. Yeah, the tone of my voice. <laughs> That's a, they're actually our beet farmers. Yeah, and I knew there was, but they had like a big garden in the back, I should say, and they just grew beets though. Worst food. Beets? Yeah, I don't love beets. Worst food. I, I don't know how you get worse than beets. And don't 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 say, oh, I love beets. No, you don't. You might like them. You might oh, tolerate, I tolerate them. them. You don't love them. I flipped the fuck out on my mom because she said her Me favorite too. food oh, was salad. Yeah. This was like, and I was like, no, it's not. Get off your fucking pedestal. <laughs> no, like, okay, you can like salad, but it's nobody's favorite food. No. It would have to be a specific salad and you like the ingredients that right. come with the lettuce. Right. And she said, no, it's my favorite food. And I... Yeah. stormed out. I, I like beets very much. Yep. Like, a, like a beet salad. Yep. 
is very good, and that's not almost an auto order if I see it. Like Would you rather have a beet or a slice of pizza? I'm out. <sighs> beet salad is an auto order for you. Beet salad. A beet salad is an auto order. If if it's at like a very good restaurant. Beet salad like, done. Auto if, order. Again, auto if, order. If it's at like a very nice restaurant and they do it right, making beets yourself is an absolute nightmare, and I will never. So do you're it. out to dinner with your wife for anniversary. You're obviously going to. That'll go be to, that'll uh, be like an appetite. That won't be the main. You're going yeah. to a nice restaurant, obviously. Yes. Beet salads on the menu. Done. If that's like the appetizer, like small salad, yeah, absolutely. I'd rather get a splinter in my thumb than eat a beet salad. I think. Yeah, it's kind of it, it, it good. Like with like some goat satisfaction of like plucking it out would beat the, any taste that a beet could. Provide. Yeah, yeah. Satisfaction of plucking a splinter out is mm. is up there. Oh, so I, I, I would look it, forward to like those yeah. ingrown beard hairs because oh. they come out so easy. They're thick. And then it just it hurts, but then when it comes out and it's just the relief. I would touch my yeah. entire deck and make a day out of pulling that splinter. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't keep your hands off yeah. your deck as a kid, dude. Yeah, dude. I got I got super into the other night. I couldn't sleep, and I got really into uh, R slash popping. I believe. Oh yeah, I can't. And do it's pop. just that no, but it's me. not. It's not just popping. It's 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 popping. It's pulling. It's it's tweezers. Slow mo of an ingrown hair will be okay. For the me. ingrown. I, I saw one when the guy pulled out like a. It had to have been like a full head of hair under his skin. Want, Relief of that hair. has to be incredible. Yeah, I like the blackheads getting removed on the nose. Yeah, with the tool. I, I, I drool. like a. I saw a splinter I, one, and the guy had like a tiny little splinter in his foot, and he's videotaping it, and he pulls it out like a little piece, and then there's like another piece, and he goes to pull it out, and it's like this big. Jesus. And he's like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> he had like no idea yeah. it was that big. It was like two inches of just wood in his foot. I don't like. I would rather it be done to me, like being popped, than seeing a pop. I don't. I'm not. I don't. I don't ever get any pops. You don't get pops. I don't really have much to pop. <laughs> maybe one day, kid. Yeah, maybe one day. An auto order. A beet, beet salad, salad is an beet auto salad. order. That's lettuce and beets. No, it, it, I think it's not. I don't even know lettuce. what's. A, well, I don't know what's an auto oh. order for me. Maybe tater tots. Beets I don't know. Salad. I don't have anything. I don't think that's an auto order. At a Chinese restaurant, I, I, I'm a guy that. If I find a cuisine like of of a country, right. like uh, Chinese, I'll get the same thing at every restaurant. You find one dish, yes, and that's your experience with that cuisine. I think that's me at most restaurants. I find one dish, I get the same thing at, every time I go to that restaurant. I never get anything but general so. I don't really go. Chinese I don't. I don't think I've like gone out to a restaurant in New York and then like gone back many times. Oh, I do. I like never go back. Like I go to like a bar multiple times, but I never like go to. I don't really go out to dinner often. To I, I have a routine. Times. I have a routine. I go to fish market twice a week. Yeah, you do. Yeah, fish market's cool. Have you taken everybody to fish market? I try to. I'm, I have a good relationship with the workers there now. They're great guys, and I'm finally to the point. I never knew this happened. I walk into the bar, and they slide a Bud Light down the bar. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's I love that. Feeling. Yeah, it's. I didn't know you could ever get that. That's like a step below getting a, a menu item named after you. Yeah, having the having them know what you want when you come in is so f it rules. My dad had a menu, a, not a menu item. It was a it was actually a rung below. Uh, later Gator. Later, yeah, yeah, he had the crepe. I never we never even talked about this, but I remember seeing it one day. Yeah, yeah. Right. My, my dad ordered this crepe at this restaurant called Later Gator. Almost got it. But he would modify it, and so they added on the menu Will's way to the crepe. So it's he didn't have his own uh, menu item, it but it's framed in his downstairs bathroom. The menu. Is that restaurant still there? Yeah, yeah. I. I get the moon moon over my hammy. Okay. Yeah. They have a, a, a crepe called the Deja Vu, but it's on the menu twice, and it freaks you out. <laughs> the, I, the best day of my best moment of my life was when I got sent uh, center wheeling where Later Gator is on GeoGuessr world map. No way! You got your home directly in center wheeling. Holy shit! The, but then, it was like, what can I do with this? Nothing. Did you what? hesitate at all? Were you like, "There's no way." Oh no! I knew I knew there. I knew it was happening, but it was it took my breath away. Damn. There is a a restaurant in uh I'll, in Pennsylvania somewhere close to my wife, uh, family, and they have the salad is called the Bloody Beet Pan Drippings Yogurt, which is like a white oh, uh, sauce, and then Jesus pistachio Christ. praline. Oh, that probably just looks like a fucking are you, on the Why are you plate. Why are you pushing beet on us so hard? Yeah, you guys are pushing back against beets and saying it sucks. Beets are really We didn't know we didn't. We said no one no one loves it and then you said I love beets. I, the craziest thing you said was it's an auto order. That one absolutely is an auto order. It's not on that many places. It's not like that. Can you describe that one more time? Yeah, sure. that sounded foul. 
Uh, it's called the Bloody Beet Pan Drippings. How much you want bloody in the name of your the food you're about to eat? It's like it's a kind of runny. It's because of the pan drippings. The pan dripping because it's what a, are they, the they pan, cu- What's the pan from? They let they like they cut up the beets and they put it uh, then like cook them. So it's beet juice, essentially. Uh, pan times. drippings, yogurt, pistachio <laughs> praline. Very very good. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> what did you say? What? I said it's beet juice, and Brandon said don't say that three times. <laughs> That was really clever. Nick, I got something for you. What you got for me, Teej? Um, so when we were doing the World Cup thing like yeah. a week ago, or whatever that was, uh, you asked um, Connor Griffin to learn the Uruguayan national anthem. Yes. He did it. He what never, a beast. He oh, yeah. To sing it, so. That's fucked up. We I got told him whenever to you want it. He, he learned, learned it. the five. In Spanish, yeah. I would like to. I would oh, like is this that. five minutes of lyrics, it's, or is there a lot of instrumental? It's the longest national anthem. Yes, now. Okay. We can Connor go ahead. We can close. Oh, oh, he's here. He needs listening. I'm sure. Come Connor, on in. Come in. Oh hell yeah! How he has. It, he's been asking. He's like, I got it. Whenever Nick needs me to sing the Uruguayan national anthem, because he's I, a good I, memory guy. He's a freak. Yeah. yeah. He's a beast. Yes. If you haven't watched Dude, the Act basketball doc, the, the, watch the, it, please. The documentary was really good. Yeah. You Do you want to take it away? Uh yes. Hey, would you like the instrumental? No, the third. I think it's the first video that pops up. TJ had it the last time. We thought it was like the karaoke version. The first minute is, is silence. Is just music. Okay. Then the lyrics kick in. So like, let's do the instrument. Should we do the instrumental that doesn't have the words? Mm, I don't know, because it might be different. What are we doing? All right. So can we pull it up and minimize it? The first one. Yeah. Works. Can you close your eyes and we can I'll put close the my li- eyes. yeah we can put the lyrics. <laughs> I'll close my eyes. <laughs> And then you guys can see if I'm doing it right. Now, this was like a week and a half ago that I learned. So you're, but you have a very good, you're good at memorization. If I just repeat it, yes. If I just try and memorize it over and over and over again. That's the best way to cheat is memorizing stuff. Probably, yeah. I I don't know if it'll. This also might be really boring, by the way. (laughs) I don't care. How? How? I'm going to drag on. It's a five minute song. Yeah, no. So I don't care. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Actually, TJ, could you put it up on the screen? At least so I know yeah. when it's kicking off. Are the lyrics going to pop up? The lyrics will pop up, but I okay. won't be paying attention. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. Okay, yeah, we're approaching. We're approaching. Orientalis, the patria, la tumba, libertad, o que glorio morir. Orientalis, the patria, la tumba, libertad, o que glorio morir. Es el voto que la amna pronuncia y que roigo sabremos cumplir. Es el voto que la amna pronuncia y que roigo sabremos cumplir. Que sabremos cumplir Es el voto que la amra pronuncia Y que ruego sabremos cumplir Que sabremos cumplir Sabremos cumplir Sabremos cumplir Sabremos cumplir Keep going Libertad, libertad, orientales, este grito la patria sabo, que a sus bravos sin fieras batallas, de entusiasmo sublime en flemo. What are you doing libertad, at Barstool Sports, man? Libertad, orientales, Este grito la patria sabo Que a sus bravos en fieras batallas De entusiasmo sublime en flemo De este don sacrosanto la gloria Merecimos tiranos temblar you jealous, Kyle? Yeah, this is insane. 
Tyrannos den blad Libertad in the Liclamoremos Y miriendo también libertad Libertad in the Liclamoremos Y miriendo también libertad Y miriendo también libertad También libertad Tambien libertad and then we bring it home. We bring it home. Yeah. Oriental es la patria, la tumba. Libertad o que gloria o morir. Oriental es la patria, la tumba. Libertad o que gloria o morir. Eso voto que la pronuncia y que roigo sabremos cumplir. Eso voto que la pronuncia y que roigo sabremos cumplir. Que sabremos cumplir Es el voto que el hambre pronuncia Y que hoy no sabremos cumplir Que sabremos cumplir Sabremos cumplir Sabremos cumplir Sabremos cumplir And that's it Wow, dude Wow So Brody, that was supposed to be me. <laughs> that was uh, supposed to be part of my presentation, and I just, uh, I was like, okay, I'll just divvy this down to Connor, and uh, I forgot to bring him in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you learned that like two weeks ago. I learned it two weeks ago. The off chance that you would have to do it. Yeah, and then I saw him afterwards, and he was like, oh my god, I totally forgot to bring you. <laughs> <laughs> I felt, I, I was like, oh, I'm a bad guy.